A quick way to add more details to a scene with machinery or robots for example, is to add cables in any empty spot you can find. In most cases, a regular old cable like this is fine, but sometimes you need a little extra flair to add some variation. And twisted cable pairs are great for exactly that. So let me show you how to make a simple generator for twisting cables, that can easily be modified to fit your needs. The generator will be based on a single curve, so add a Bezier curve to the scene. In the Geometry Nodes workspace, add a new node tree. Add a Curve to Mesh node, and a Curve Circle node. Set the resolution to 3, and connect the Curve Circle to the Profile Curve input. This creates a triangular mesh that follows the original curve. The shape of the mesh is decided by whatever shape we connect to the Profile Curve input, and it doesn't have to be a single shape either. For example, you could join any number of shapes together like this, to create a much more complex mesh. In our case though, we will use a different approach. Add an instance on Points node, another Curve Circle node with a resolution of 16, and a Realize Instances node and connect them like this. This creates three cables going in parallel along the original curve. And if we take a look at what the profile shape we created looks like, it's easier to see why. Now of course the tubes are intersecting at the moment, so let's adjust the size of the instance curve circle. 0 0.85 seems to be a good size, so let's use that to create a simple controller for the size of both circles. Connect the radius of the first curve circle to the group input. Then add a math node set to multiply. And connect the radius value to it. Set the bottom value of the multiply node to 0 0.85. Then connect it to the radius of the second curve circle. Now we can control the size of the cables with a single value here in the modifiers tab. I will set it to 0 0.1 for now. Next, let's make the cables twist around each other. Doing this is actually very simple, since we can utilize a built-in property of the curves, which is called tilt. So let's start by adding a set curve tilt node. Changing this value rotates the cables along the curve equally, but by using another built-in property of curves called the factor, we can make the tilt apply differently along the curve. To do this, add a spline parameter node, and connect the factor output to the tilt input. The factor goes from 0 to 1 along the curve, so the effect isn't very strong by default. But by adding a math node set to multiply, we can increase the amount of tilting. To control this value from the modifiers tab, connect the bottom value of the multiply node to the group input as well. Press N to open the side panel, and rename this new input to tilt. One thing we can add at this point is the possibility to fine-tune the tilt manually, using Ctrl and T in edit mode. To do this, instead of setting the tilt directly, we can change the setup to instead add on top of whatever tilt value is already there. Add a math node set to add, and a curve tilt node, and connect them like this. If you think that the mesh gets too jagged when you increase the tilt a bit, we can solve that by increasing the resolution of the curve. Add a resample curve node, and set it to length. 
then decrease the length value until it's smooth enough. Alternatively, at the end of the node tree, add a subdivision surface node. But keep in mind that this method tends to produce a lot more geometry. All that is left to do now is to create a UV map for the cables, and unfortunately, it's still a bit convoluted. But let me walk you through it. The first thing we need to do is to capture the curve length of each of the curves involved. To do this, add two capture attribute nodes and connect them before the curve and profile curve inputs. Then, add a spline parameter node and connect the length output to the value inputs of the capture attribute nodes. This way we capture the two curve lengths before we turn them into a mesh, so that we can use the respective values after the conversion. Add a store named attribute node set to vector and face corner after the curve to mesh node. And a combine XYC node. Connect the attribute outputs to the X and Y inputs. Then connect the resulting vector to the value input. And in the name field, type UVX. This name is what we will use in the shader in a bit. Now create a new material in the Materials tab. Then add a set material node and select the material in a dropdown. Now in the shading workspace, add an attribute node and type UVX in the name field. To test it out, I will add a checker texture and use the vector output as UVs for the texture. As you can see, it works pretty well. However, we get this compression in this area of the cables. There are a couple of ways to handle this, and if you want a proper mathematical solution for it, I suggest watching this video. However, there is another way to fix it, which for something like this is good enough in my opinion. All we need to do is replace the curve circle that we use for the profile curve with a spiral, with the rotation set to 1, and the height set to 0. And lastly, we just need to add a merge by distance node after the set material node. And that's how you can make twisting cables with geometry nodes. I hope you found this video helpful, and that you learned something new. See you next time.